Hello and welcome to today's Scarlet Scoop. I'm Amanda Vaughn here to bring you today's top stories. Earlier this month, the Ohio State University Police Department received a driving simulator from the Maria Tiberi Foundation. Maria's parents, Dom and Terry Tiberi, donated the simulator in their late daughter's name to raise awareness about distracted driving. The simulator is currently in the Ohio Union in the Public Safety Office and offers three different driving functions, practice, distracted, and intoxicated driving. The foundation has donated 23 simulators to police departments and schools across Ohio. For more information, visit thelantern.com and click on campus. Alcohol abuse is a commonly known problem on college campuses, but in recent years there has been more awareness brought to prescription drug abuse. Ohio State Center for the Study of Student Life and OSU's Higher Education Center for Alcohol and Drug Misuse Prevention and Recovery conducted a survey last spring to study the prescription drug misuse on eight college campuses. The study found that about 18% of undergraduates report misusing prescription stimulants such as Adderall, while 70% of students say that it is somewhat easy to obtain these medications. The study also concluded that about 10% of undergraduates misuse pain medications. Every year, the Ohio State Marching Band names a drum major to lead the band, and this year they chose the 60th drum major in program history, Nathan McMasters. We caught up with him to find out what it means to earn this special title. Well, each drum major kind of has their number, and it's my new lucky number, and it's pretty cool to think about that there's been 59 people in the history of Ohio State. That's not very many if you think about uh, over 100 years of the band, and so it's kind of a, reminds me of the tradition that I've been a part of and all the people that have come before me and uh, just it's, it's kind of cool to be part of that. It's really starting to feel like fall in Ohio with the rain and colder temps this week. Meteorologist John Bangoff joins me now to tell us what we can look forward to for our Halloween weekend forecast. Amanda, looking at your Halloween forecast this weekend, we'll get to that shortly. It should be a fairly nice one for today, though. 54, going to be breezy this afternoon. Plenty of winds out there, gusts to 35 miles an hour, sustained winds 15 to 20. So definitely be wary of that. Despite the sunshine being out, it could be pretty chilly this afternoon. For the day tomorrow, a little bit cooler, high of 53 degrees. Going to be beautiful, though. Less winds, plenty of sunshine, and heading into your weekend. Halloween looks to be all right. High of 57 is going to be a fairly nice afternoon with some clouds, but we do have a chance of showers moving in for your Saturday evening. So if you're going to a Halloween party, maybe heading home to pass out candy, a trick or treat, make sure you have an umbrella or a jacket handy. Set your clock back one hour Saturday night before you go to bed, daylight savings time, and then for the day on Sunday, clouds in the morning clearing by afternoon, 63 degrees, sunsets at 5.30 Sunday night. So the days are getting shorter. I'm meteorologist John Vagnoff, back to you in the studio. That's it for today's episode of Scarlet Scoop. Make sure to tune in tomorrow for another new show. Also, be sure to check out thelantern.com and Lantern TV throughout the week for extended versions of these stories. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter and Instagram and like us on Facebook for more news updates. Thanks for watching.